So, thank you for joining me for the interview today. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if all the viewers will know what is selfish. So, can you briefly exp explain what you do? What does Selfish do? Yes. Yeah, Selfish is a mobile operating system. Yes. It's an open operating system. It's based on Linux. Uh, we've been developing it since 2011, as the company was established. And currently, it's the only alternative in-market mobile operating system there, there is beyond the dominating ones, Android and, and Apple iOS, basically. So we stick to this alternative saying. You mm -hmm. always say you are alternative OS to Android <laughs> and iOS. I like the saying on the website the main website of Selfish OS that you are the independent system. Yeah. So as you are a well established company with awesome community who really love your product, your system, do you want to be called alternative or do you want to be like a main competitor to Android and iOS? Well, that's a, of course a matter of putting your, putting your words there, but it, it, it is truly a fact that we are an alternative. So if you want right. to have something different this is truly different the yeah. foundations of the operating systems are our system is very different to android mm -hmm. our promise to our users is that we don't collect your data it's totally opposite to the android android is established for the fact in order to collect and monetize yes. end user data whereas in our end user license agreement we clearly out loud say to the users that we don't collect your data, we care about your privacy and so on, you purchase the software or you, or you even enjoy the free license, it's yours, it's your data. And that's why so it's very... So in behalf of community, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and that's why I, I truly believe that uh, the philosophy mm -hmm. of that is that it's very alternative. Okay, this way. This way I like it, really. It's a perfect saying. So, uh, I explained to you be uh, before the interview that I work for a software house. We yes. do mobile and web apps. So I wanted to ask how the mobile apps for Selfish OS are going to develop. If you are going to do something more, like our company should be afraid of another system to learn something to develop apps or not really? Well, nothing happens overnight, of course, and, uh, and, and uh, we, we need to take it also on, uh, on practical market terms. The, the world is full of very good, competitive, nice-to-use applications that are practically copied between iOS and Android. Sure. That basically you can get the same experience in all the cool applications in both of the ecosystems. Uh, and and that's, that's fine. And that's where we have built our market entry strategy all the time, that we are compatible with the existing systems. That's why we, we offer uh, the Android compatibility yes. in our, our system. And all the users can choose to use it or they can choose not to use it. Yes, that's the perfect solution because I had two uh, phones with Selfish OS mm. and one I had Android support and I used yeah. Android apps and the second one that Surely I use native. nowadays I use purely native, yeah, I don't use yeah, Android. Yeah. I don't want to be connected with Android system. And sure, and many stuff. of our fans do exactly that choice for a reason. And, yes. and, and we want to keep it open, we want to keep that alternative once again available for, for our community and that's the way, way we like it. At okay. the same time, of course, uh, we have to, have to acknowledge the fact that it's simply not possible for us to start to ask from all the major application houses to b build a native Selfish OS application mm -hmm. at this point because we simply don't have the market share to justify the investment for the for the big houses. So therefore we rather want to be compatible with the existing market conditions mm -hmm. and at the same time offer of course a very nice SDK mm -hmm. with good set of APIs that once again uh, uh, acknowledge your privacy, your security yes. and, and offer that as, a, as an option for our fans and for our licensing customers. Okay, great. So changing the subject, yeah, sure. Xperia 10, Yes. you right announced device. recently. Yes. Uh, I am a user of Xperia, but the previous one, my boyfriend okay. used the one of the newest one with Safe What's mm. about Xperia 10? I know you are holding something in your hand. <laughs> well, it's here in my, <laughs> in my hand. Uh, so we just launched it this week, this week a Selfish X, which is our community program, uh, the support for the, for the Xperia 10, mm -hmm. which is another addition to the family of 
officially support its selfish X devices. And of course, we, we enjoy it. Uh, it's practically the the uh, the, the the primary uh, device for many of us uh, within the company for for a reason. And it's going to be uh, definitely the default device for many of uh, of the community users in yes, the in the future. Definitely. Also, we don't sell anymore our own Yola devices, so there needs to be always a fresh, good hardware so that we can interact uh, just like we are doing with our yes, community. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's an interaction tool and and uh, and and in this package is uh, it's it's a very good one. At the same time, it's fairly competitive in terms of uh, value. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the the price of the hardware is is very competitive at the moment uh, uh, with this performance that you get with this hardware. Yes. So it's a very competitive package. Even though you would purchase the the Selfies X full license to it, you can enjoy the free license, of course. That's totally yours. Uh, but then we offer also the the paid version of the license. Especially that now is with discounts. I also yeah, saw yeah, that. That's use. true. Actually, we have that now for all the selfies users until end of the year, which is really a good offer, and uh, we we hope many people take. And I have already actually taken its third uh, third day now after the release, and we are very happy to see the figures already by right. now. So about hardware. Yes. You started with uh, your own hardware. Yes. Then you uh, came with this big announce that you stop producing hardware and mm. you stick to the software. Mm. Then some cooperations and first Xperia. Yeah. What's going on? What are the plans? And what can we as a community expect? More mobile phones from other companies? Your own devices? Sure, sure. And uh, of course we get that question quite often. So. So, uh, first of all, this company always has been a software company. This is why it's, it was established, because we truly believe in the fact that the value at in these devices comes from the software more than from the hardware. And this is why, why Selfies Yolla was established in the beginning. In the early days, simply, it was very, very difficult for us to find ourselves a hardware partner with whom we could partner with and they would bring the selfies operating system to the market in their hardware. We couldn't find it. We tried and, and circled around the world for, for a considerable amount of time and had numerous meetings with plenty of device vendors, but it, didn't, it just didn't fly with them for, for many reasons. And uh, therefore, we ended up of ourselves being a hardware vendor for our own operating system. Mm -hmm. That's why we established these Yolla devices and the phones in the first place, so that we have a hardware which is which is optimized to run a selfish yes. operating system and bring it to the market, maturize it to the commercial quality so that it's just another Linux open source project which never actually reaches a commercial yes. maturity. There's plenty of those. We needed a hardware so that we can truly bring it to the competitive uh, marketplace of, of the smartphone market. And that's why we did it in the in the first place. Why we did ramp it down is that we, well, numerous things happened. We ran into cash crisis in the company. The hardware business also honestly wasn't profitable at all. Uh, so we, we definitely burned some money there. And we just had to change the strategy of the company in order to survive. I was waiting so much for the <laughs> tablet. Well, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> so, so, uh, but uh, of course we learned a lot during during those times. We were able to let's say uh, uh, reborn this uh, uh, or rebuild this company, and uh, and and we are alive. And yes. that cha really saved us. That change, uh, that uh, strategy change. Uh, and, and redirecting uh, the company really, really saved this. This and selfies wouldn't be here available even today in Xperia 10 if we wouldn't have made those very tough decisions. I, 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 I truly feel that myself yes. as well, and, uh, and 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 all that. And it was tough for our community, and many people were were disappointed that we couldn't deliver all the tablets and so on. And that's that's just how it how it went, unfortunately. But but now it's looking good. Uh, it's a selfies operating system licensing business, which is very, very good business. Okay, any new phones are coming or any new cooperations? Well, there's actually surprisingly a big amount of devices already out there which yes. are capable to run selfies always. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we are talking about 50 different kind of devices, community ports, some devices mm -hmm. that we have introduced together with our 
our customers uh, in the earlier days, like with Index, you, you, you've been using mm -hmm. yourself, uh, uh, with Axion, with uh, Yala, Yala Group, and so on. And there's a couple more coming. Our friends in, uh, in, in Russia, they have introduced uh, yes. Aurora OS devices, uh, numerous to, mainly, uh, of course, to the, to, the, to the corporate and governmental sector in their business case. Uh, and there are a couple, couple of more coming, hopefully also, still this year, we would be able to launch actually one more, okay. which we haven't done yet. Okay, perfect. So, I am, but if I wasn't convinced to use Selfish OS, what would you tell, tell me? If you were not convinced yet. Yes. But you are. I am, <laughs> but if I were. I know, I know. So? <laughs> so, so um, of course, it's for, for, for people who really want to care about their, their security, their, their private data, the fact that, that you are in control of your own uh, usage of the device, which is the most personal electronic device everybody has, is the smartphone. This is why Self is, uh, uh, is good uh, for such people and resonates with this message with the, with, the, with the community we have around there. And actually that is getting bigger and bigger every day. All these things that have happened in the past year with the data exploits and so on, and we keep just it feels like we are getting those in accelerating pace in yes. the industry all the time. That's something that has clearly changed the, the awareness of data privacy within the within the users. The GDPR implementation by uh, by European Union that kicked in last year May, all those kind of changes even in the legislation like in GDPR, have clearly increased the awareness of general public yes. about... Finally. About, finally. Finally, indeed, indeed. And that's exactly where we are offering a solution, um, um, and that's what our fans and community wants to, wants to use. Perfect. So, last question, maybe a little bit tricky. Do you have any hot news that you can share with me? <laughs> Something that... We don't know yet, or you will announce soon? Well, I guess I did already give a one hint regarding a possible uh, device partner that we may come out later this year. That remains to be seen, and we will return on that once it's topical. Uh, but uh, but uh, we, of course, celebrate the, the, the recent news of Xperia 10, which we just got out yeah. this week. Let's enjoy that together. Uh, Selfies is going going strong and forward. Our licensing customers are doing well, and the business case uh, business case is growing. So that's awesome. that's good. That's all the community may want to see and hear, and I'm glad that everything is well, and we can expect more and more from Selfies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.